This is question 9 from paper 2 of the 2014 National 5 Maths exam. Given a couple of fractions to subtract and we're asked to write the answer as a single fraction in its simplest form. I think before we start this question let's do a, a very similar example where we take for instance 7 ninths minus 3 quarters. And what we normally do here is we cannot subtract quarters from ninths. We have to get the denominators the same. So we would change them both into thirty-sixths by multiplying top and bottom in the first one by four and top and bottom in the second one by nine. So we'd end up with twenty-eight thirty-sixths minus twenty-seven thirty-sixths. So we'd end up with 28 minus 27 of these 36, which is 136. But the crucial stage was to make these denominators into the same thing. So we'll attempt to do that in this case. And just as we looked at these and multiply them together, we can do the same here. So the first fraction would take this x plus 5 and multiply it by x. And we'd have to multiply, I'll put the x at the front there, x times x plus 5, same as x plus 5 times x. And we'll multiply the top of this fraction by the same number. You are allowed to multiply top and bottom of fractions by the same number. For instance, one third is two sixths or three ninths, multiplying top and bottom by two or by three. So we're multiplying top and bottom by x here, and in this case we'll multiply top and bottom by x plus 5. So top number becomes 3 lots of x plus 5, bottom number becomes x times x plus 5. So we're multiplying top and bottom here by x plus 5. Now we've reached the happy state where both the denominators are the same. We've reached the state here where they're both 36. So we say, well, how many of these, they're not 36, they're x times x plus fifths. Um, how many do we have? We've got 7x of them minus 3 lots of x plus 5 of them. So we've reached this stage, 28 minus 27 over 36. And final stage over here was to take 27 away from 28 to get 1. Well, this case, we don't know these numbers, but we can simplify the top number. We have seven lots of x, and then getting rid of brackets here, we've got minus three outside the brackets, and so we multiply out minus three times x, and then minus three times positive five, that's negative 15, minus 15. And looking at this, seven lots of x minus three lots of x would be four x, and a minus 15 over x times x plus 5. And that's in simplest form. We can't cancel anything. There's no factor x on the top line. This part doesn't have an x in it and so on. So there's, there's no more cancelling that we can do. And we're left with a single fraction in its simplest form. Incidentally, this example here, if we let x equals 4, in this example, 7 over 4 plus 5 gives us 7 ninths. 3 over 4 gives us 3 quarters. And if we look at this answer, if we put 4 in place of x, 4 fours are 16, minus 15 is 1, and 4 times 4 plus 5 is 9, 4 nines are 36. So it ties up in this numerical case where we're saying that x equals 4 in this case. That's just one example. We could put any value for x we like in here, and this statement would be true, that 7 over x plus 5 minus 3 over x is always equal to 4x minus 15 over x times x plus 5, no matter what value x takes.